Now, there's a famous clip where you hit Martin Keown. Allegedly. Allegedly. All right, we'll clear up. Okay, let's clear up. What happened? What's the story? Well, it's, it's one of those. It was um, it was a few years before um, Peter Beagley started doing the sky, and I knew Peter Beagley really well. Yeah. So we used to clip the balls over to Peter Beagley, who's pitch side with a mic. He used to have a bit of a laugh about it. We'd try and hit him. He'd sort of bring it down, and it was all, you know, is, is in good faith. So I've always had that in my head, whatever there's people around trying okay. to see the ball yeah. just to have a little bit of yeah. fun. So Sav, we were at Arsenal, he was, was at Leeds, and it was myself and Alex Bruce. And we're warming up and having a little look, and Sav's behind the goal, but it's actually in front, they've actually set him up in front of the Leeds supporters, which straight away, it's <laughs> obviously causing a bit of one of them, you can see them after him straight away. So I thought, well, I'll have a little go, clip this ball, and try and hit Sav. And I've gone, and I thought, oh, that's too big, that's too big. So I've rolled it another 20 yards, a little bit closer. I thought, that's, that's got a chance. So I've clipped it, and do you know you've hit it? And I don't hit that many good goal shots, but I've hit it, and I thought, oh, this has got every good chance. Job. And I remember just started travelling, do you know, like you're running away thinking, I'm looking and going, oh, no, this is good. It's got every chance. Martin Keown stood right next to him. And literally, and it's gone, and it's absolutely smashed Martin Keown. <laughs> full it right on his, like, his nose, side of the face. And if you watch it now, you can find it. And literally, there's these slow-mos, and he's he's tries to take it because he's tough on him. Right? It's like, he's trying to take it, and they show, it's, it's, it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> but really, he's devastated. That's clobbered him right in, right in the face. Uh. <laughs> but I did try for Sab. But ironically, Martin's looking for me. We've run off and I'm crying. I remember sweating and sweating and crying, like stretching. Made near the dugout as far away as possible. Hey, who told him it was you? Well, that's the same. Someone has said, I think it was Michael Brown, so he's oh, gone or he's okay. gone. So obviously, the next, he's doing he's doing articles. He's saying he's never hit the target in his life. He's no. never done this. Oh, he's cheering oh, him no. And I heard he was looking oh, for me. After it. Obviously, he's snapping. Yeah, he's cheering. Oh, he's hitting full belt. Everyone's seen it. And then literally, I've gone on the bus and I turned my phone on and my phone just melted. Like, literally, the battery was just going ding, 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 ding. Battery gone. I heard he's looking. So it was years later. I hadn't really seen him. I was past him in, like, a press press room and I started doing uh, this sort of job. Past him in a press room and I'm sort of hiding from him. So I'm thinking he's going to still have me, but luckily it was quite a while away. And then we got put on a job. It was um, Portsmouth versus um, Arsenal. And they said, BT, can you, can you do the job? I said, yeah, great. And then they said, you work with Martin. I said, all right, fine. You do know what's happened. So Did they get that, the uh, So they obviously knew what it was. <laughs> Cracker. It was the first time I walked in the Winnebago before they get in. He's dead serious in your mind. He's, hello, nice to see you, Michael. I fly. So he's let it go. So then um, we're at the game. We're at the side of the pitch. And um, Jay Humphrey's presenting. And it just said the sign next to it said, beware of flying balls. And pause for And he's just gone. Like that to Martin, and we've sort of buried it, but it was brilliant. I wish I'd have got Sav. Yeah, we all wish you 